Manus AI, a powerful AI agentic system, automating any repetitive task. Highest trending in Twitter right now. He's a seven day trip planner and it's going through step by step. First it's preparing the to-do list, then going and browsing every single web page in regards to trip to Japan and summarizing the report. It's able to automatically click through those links and here's the final output. Seven day Japan itinerary and you see the report here. It's with a handbook. Here is another task searching for AI solutions in fashion industry. First it's preparing the plan then to do research. It's searching the internet getting all the list of links browsing those pages. Imagine how much time it will take for you to do this but this does automatically. You just need to give a prompt in natural language like this and finally you get a report like this. This is really nice. But the drawback of this is that it is closed source. You are not able to use this for free. Alternatively, we got the open source version that is open manners. This you can run locally on your computer and I'm going to take you through step by step how you can install this and run this and let's review this. Here's an example where it analyzing a website, understanding various components of the website, then finally able to create a SEO audit report for the website. This is really nice. We are going to perform this. Here is Open Manus, a drop trending repo with 31,000 stars just in few days of launch. That is really nice. So to install this, it's good to have Conda environment which you can download from Conda website. I'll put all the link in the description below. So once after you download Conda, just go to your terminal which you can find that on your computer. Conda create hyphen n open manners mentioning the Python version and confirming that it's S and clicking enter. This will automatically create a virtual environment. In this way, you're not disturbing any other project which is running in this computer. So I'm going to activate the virtual environment. Conda activate open manners and then click enter. Now git clone open manners the whole path and then click enter. Now let's navigate to open manners. Here pip install hyphen r requirements.txt and then click enter. This will install all the required packages. Also we need player rights installed like this and then click enter. And now there's the example config file config example.toml. So I'm just renaming that to config.toml. It's in the config folder. So if you open this in your VS code or cursor or WinSurf, just open this folder. There you can find the config folder. So I've just copied this config folder like this. So if you view this config folder, the file looks like this. You can change the model of your choice and add an API key. And I'm using GPT 4.0 and also adding my API key here. Also in regards to LLM vision, you need to fill this as well, GPT 4.0 and your API key. Then rename this as config.toml. So once after you got the config ready, now we are ready to run the application python main.py and then click enter. Now it's running and is asking for a task to complete. I'm going to say visit mer.vin website and do SEO analysis. Let's try that. Now it's automatically opening my web page. It's able to identify the list of pages. I can see it's able to grab these URLs and it's asking me to use SEMrush Ahrefs or Moss to do a detailed SEO report. This is also based on the model which I'm using GPT 4.0. I'm going to create another task. Find different places I can visit in London. Now it's getting the required URLs from Google search and now it's opening each individual page as you can see here one by one and it's more quicker as well and probably taking a screenshot of each page to understand its content. It did go through each page but it's not giving a summary about that. It's just giving me the URL to get more information and the process ter got terminated. The key reasons could be the max tokens, the model which I'm using. So worth trying with different max token and the model. I tried with the headless mode and also with 100,000 tokens but for some reason I didn't get the proper answer just the link to those websites to visit. Meanwhile I asked it to create a diet dashboard and it created me this code that is in Flask application and here's a diet dashboard. This is what you expect from a GPT 4.0 model. So worth changing it to Cloth Sonnet probably you'll get a better dashboard. Overall I think there are things to be worked on in this open manners but still it's a good starting point and at the back it uses browser use that is another python package 
to navigate through websites in natural language. This managed AI is nothing but multiple AI agents working together with few extra tool calls such as browser use, internet search tool, and the workflow for these agents. So even this can be done using any other AI agents framework. The flow at the back will look similar to this. One agent having access to internet search and another agent code execution and another agent formatting. And we could easily replicate this. But the one key advantage is that Manus AI got a user interface. Even open Manus didn't have that user interface. You need to run that via terminal. I hope this open Manus will grow quickly considering its popularity and the growth. Do let me know in the comments below what you think about this. Considering you already like AI agents, that is general AI agents, I also created another video about browser use. Automatic agent which is able to browse and give you results. And I highly recommend for you to watch and I will see you there.